Hey fam, have you watched my latest video? It's a collaboration with Toya Trust Air. Before we go on, kindly go subscribe right now to my video. Press the thumbs up because this is going to be a fun and exciting video. It's going to be totally worth your time. But let's see. Let's just get in here. Can you feel the bounce? Soft and lush. Hi tribe. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing another exciting tutorial. It's going to be about my hair. A lot of people love when I do air videos. So I decided to partner with Toya Tress Air and to bring you another Toya Tress Bob Spring Twist Crochet. This is what it looks like. It comes in this cute little package. Like, look, you rarely get hairs that come with this bouncy feel. I got this in the package. I've got seven. So let's count how many comes with this. So we have two, three, five, 11, 15, 18, and 20. So we've got 20 strands in each bundle and it has seven packs. So I think we've got 140 strands to go but for you to understand how to install your crochet you always 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 want to have your cornrow braids on okay let me tell you the truth i've been braiding my hair for a while so i tend to be able to braid my hair without looking at the mirror it's a little tad bit straight it's not so straight but i think that's what i'm gonna use i've got my cornrows in place as you can see i just you know did something fun at the back don't worry about all that this is huge, I know, but that's fine. No one's gonna see underneath your crochet braid. So you could braid it anyhow you want, which is fabulous because no one is gonna see what's going on underneath. If you want a, a cornrow tutorial, kindly drop your comment in my comment section because trust me, as a teeny weeny hair, it can be very technical and a lot of work. The thing about this bad guy, it always gets lost. So with every purchase you get, you always get a free crochet pin which means that anywhere you are, any place you are, you can just pop it out and start your crochet install. Okay, we're just gonna go like so, pop my fingers into this, as you can see, and I love this because it has like space. Can you see this? So I'm just gonna go like so, pressing it down, crochet in the hook, the crochet hook, pull it out, just put the tip in the crochet hook, close it down and pull. you see i just got the first one in so when you're walking this way your hands are this way your hands is over your head and you're pushing it in but when you're walking on this side your pin is on your head with this other hand and you're pushing it in and the reason why i'm saying this is because it gives it a very synchronized finish very neat the closure gives it just a cleanliness that you don't expect video contains my honest opinion about this look if you think it's something you want to know about or it's something you want to learn kindly keep watching and let me know your thoughts in the comment section let me tell you this is like one of the hardest things to do because it's like the opposite side of my hand <laughs> and it's so awkward but to have a very smooth and clean looking crochet braid making it look like a professional did it trust me this is how you want to start so it's uncomfortable, especially if you're right-handed, but it's something that you can actually get through and do. So let's do this. Pull the hook down into my hair and flip it out. And you're going to see me repeat this over and over again till I get it all done on all areas of my hair. The next thing you're going to see me do is the back area, which I did off camera and that's fine, but I'm going to complete this front area with you guys the back area you know i just did this personally just to fill up the holes but the front line you're going to see that we're going to do this together in doing this together i'm just going to flip it in remember that i did one side which is done which is the side i want to flip but i'm just going to do this right hand side with you all so let's just keep watching close to the end i have to do this side to be more close than every other side because this is where my pattern is going to be but the good thing is i actually have two side patterns so i've got one over here and i'm going to make another one over here because naturally i love my hair having a side part like this left hand side but if i'm going to flip it you know your girl i'm not going to leave you without giving you an option so let's just keep going so for the final install and just so that I can have my pattern, you know, placed properly, I'm just going to go in with my 
with shape cane and i'm just going to take it in between these two lines over here but yeah i'm going to dip it in this line and get it out here so it's going to be the first line and the second line of the closure and just flip it through like so get it out put the tip over here and pull it as you can see it literally just closed up right now so this is the pattern i have and this is the all install so the next thing i'm going to be doing is go in with my cream of nature argan edge control so if you have scanty edges like me try not to get worried or bothered about it this is going to help you you know put everything in place so i'm just going to do like so you know just so i can get in into it can you see the way my edges literally just laid down in two seconds that's what you want to do now that i'm done placing the edge control all over i'm just going to go in with this it's super stretchy i'm just going to place it right here lay down my edges so once you put your edge control you always want to go in with a silk scarf or something just to lay the edges down it actually helps the edges stay in place and in case you're going to do your makeup so it also helps you know prevent excess um makeup getting onto the edge it's totally worth it it's easy to wash easy to make easy to carry around like look it's so so lightweight it's so so lightweight i i promise you it's lightweight and i love i love i love i love i love if i don't love it i'm always gonna tell you let me tell you there are different ways you can actually rub this as you can see in the video i told you guys that i was going to you know do several patterns so i actually have two patterns on my hair look this is the second pattern which is by this side remember that i put a stop button over here because i wanted it to you know make it look like a closure spot so right now i'm just arranging this beauty and look this is another way to style it so you can actually make two closure entrances i made the first one over here and this is the second one as you all know if you watch my video you know that i love having my hair to this side and having a little bit over on this side but that's fine today i'm just going to do with this i'm showing you this is the second way of how you're going to style this hair i love my hair being bulky and all the way in the front so i'm taking this rubber band getting the tip of my hair over here i tell you it's so simple i'm just gonna hold it to this angle and look look can you see this what i just did was swipe my hair to the edge and look what's going on look i feel so cute So I've got it all the way to the side, which is absolutely fabulous. You can rock this, especially on days that, you know, the summer sun is like killing and so hot. You can just take it off your neck like I did. Look, all the way. It's so smooth. So Tribe, I have great news for everyone watching. Kindly check my description box right now because I have a discount code and the link right there is for you to cook some of this crochet hair and slay all season don't also forget to share this video and share the link to your friends your sisters your aunts your grandmas your girlfriends share it to everyone you know because i want everyone to partake from this goodness this air is totally what you buy it's totally what your coins and you know i'm always about saving the coins but this time you gotta splodge these coins on some of this toyo tresses hair so i just have this hood to the middle voila we have this going on and this is so nice another thing you can do is actually pull this off your face pull everything all the way back and that's why you always need your edge control to get your edges in place so i've got a ponytail on the middle of my head and i've got an hostel at the back so i've got two ponytails going on before we have this what i just did was i took down the front ponytail and i've got this so i'm just going to carefully arrange it look i've got the big ponytail at the back and the rest of the front ponytail just sitting pretty over here so for the fifth styling pattern that you can style this air in i'm just going to grab the tip 
of this and I'm just going to keep rolling them. You can see it's so fresh, it's properly laid down and I'm bringing it all the way. The good thing and the fun thing about this is I actually can't decide which style I like the most because I absolutely love all the styles I've been doing. To get it more put together, you can also take it in like so. So you have one big bun all the way at the back. Come on, let's tuck you in. No playing. So there we go. I've got it safely tucked in. Look, the way it's off my face. Because of summer, you know, you might get hot so quickly. So you can get it off your face, off your neck, off your shoulders. That's another way. So I add it packed up. But because I want to get it more stylish, maybe I'm going out with my girlfriend and I want to look like, mm, I'm still there, you know, I'm still feeling myself. I'm just going to take out the last band and just drop it to the side. So now I actually have it, you know, pulled up to one side which I love this style. Like a lot of the times when I have braids on, I love this style. So I have it pulled up to the side and angled up a little bit. And I have this dropping by the side. It's like six different styling methods that you can use, which I love, which is so gorgeous. It makes you look amazing and retro. Another style, which is the last style I'm gonna be showing. I'm bringing it your way. Let's go. Taking down this parting, what I'm just literally going to do is to go in to my hair like so and grab two well not so equal pads but almost equal pads and I'm gonna have it thrown into the hair like so I literally just put my hair into two equal puffs not so equal but almost equal puffs and guess who's a baby girl right now me, me, me. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. In total, with all the styling tips that I've dropped on this channel today, what I'm literally trying to tell you is that if you don't have your Toyo Tress Bob Spring Twist, you're missing out, okay? Go grab one. Look, look at the way I'm just inventing new hairstyles that just match literally any outfit that I want. You can do this too, okay? I feel like an Afro girl. I've got my Afro pop going on and I feel fabulous. If you watch this video to here, I've got a coupon code that you can use. I'm placing it right in my description box. Go grab some crochet, some spring bob twist, some butterfly locks, and a couple of auto your choice products that they have on their website. So kindly share the code, use the code. Once you get some of this hair, kindly tag me. I'm going to repost you on my socials. I want to see how else you can style this hair to make it look fabulous. And I promise you it's what every pen is spent. It's super lightweight as you can see I'm just fl literally flipping it all around it's not bothering me it's not weighing down on my hair the smell initially it, it actually had a smell that it gave off but now that I'm done fixing it I feel like the smell is gone in case you don't like a lot of smell just bring out the hair from the pack before you crochet it for like an hour and I'm sure the smell is just gonna go I think it's the smell that comes with the packaging but after 30 minutes of being out of the pack the smell literally evaporates so if you like this, give me a thumbs up, drop your comments in the comment section. Till next time, bye guys.